All right, what is up, everybody? It is Glenn Tupper coming back at you with a brand new video. This time, this is a tutorial video, as promised from my last video, where Ben and I flew to Bojangles and ate a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit in the air. If you haven't seen that video, uh, go to my channel, find that video, or I'll drop a link in the description so you can uh, see a little bit more of that action. And what I am talking about today is audio in post for paramotor vlogging. The ever elusive paramotor vlog and how to get the best audio. I am still on that journey of exploration and I'm making this video because I want you to come along with me on that journey and maybe you can help me out so yes, I believe that I have found the holy grail of editing paramotor vlog video with the audio portion specifically. And it's not quite there yet, but it I believe this is the path and the purpose of this video is to share with all of you this path and hopefully the other purpose is that you can give me feedback or you might be able to go down this path with me and we can make this happen together rather than keeping it a secret because you want to become YouTube famous and you don't want all the other people to figure out how to make the best, clearest, most amazing paramotor vlog audio on the face of the earth. Um, you don't want other people to figure it out. So I want you to figure it out. I want to figure it out. And I hope that we can figure it out together. So anyways, so the basis of this video, I just to set things up. Okay, so my setup, I have a GoPro Hero 10. I used to record with the GoPro 4 and a Cena backpack and I've upgraded to the Hero 10. I've got a, um, I, I purchased a gaming mic that goes into a gaming headset with an extender and that goes into the GoPro audio box that plugs into the USB-C on the side of the Hero 10 and that's all it is and it, I've got that uh, strapped to my my head my helmet and um, one thing that I do know that I need to improve on is get or find a better windscreen cover for the lavalier mic that I'm using because you will notice some uh, wind noise um, but here we go so on this screen in front of the is I've got three sets of video with audio they're all the same except for this one on the left has not been edited the one on the right has been edited and the secret, I believe, is Adobe Audition. So I do have Adobe uh, Suite, so I have access to Adobe Premiere, and I did not know of such a program called Adobe Audition until I started searching the internet, searching YouTube, and I found people right-clicking and edit audio in Adobe Audition. So I'm gonna. Sh that's what I'm here to show you guys now. Maybe you're editing in a different uh, program um, on a Mac or whatever, but maybe you can watch this video and maybe there's similar uh, things that you can do in those programs. I'm not sure, kind of like what I'm about to show you. So here we go. We're going to jump right into the video. Uh, the reason why I have Adobe Suite, and I'm going to do a shameless plug here, is because my wife runs a Etsy business where we create personalized hardcover books, uh, mainly wedding videos, but I have done uh, any kind of photography book, memorial book, uh, landscape and portrait hardcover books, up to 800 photos, get your books with me. It's very cheap. I will do it for you. I will edit. I will drop them in. Um, it's amazing. So check that out. Check my wife's Etsy store out. Holly Wedding Books on Etsy. Wedding books, photography books, memorial books, childhood books. Anything you want, we can do it. 
anyways back to the video all right so we're gonna jump right in this is the unedited video from the mic and the GoPro 10 hero 10 on my helmet we're just gonna jump in somewhere here and take a listen I tried everything I spent literally hours in my garage all day yesterday trying to figure this out and I just couldn't but then but then I was like I was looking at the teeth from the old starter and they look different from the new starter okay so as you can see a lot of engine noise you can hear my voice decently but it's distracting the engine noise is distracting so what I've done is I've gone into Adobe Audition. I'll show you all that in one second. But here is the edited version of what I have figured out sounds pretty good. And I, this is where I need your help because maybe you can jump into a Adobe Audition and show me some things that I don't know about. But this is what I have come up with. So let's take a listen. New starter. I, so I tried to like take parts of the old starter, put it on the new starter mix it up I, I tried everything I spent literally hours in my garage all day yesterday trying to figure this out and I just couldn't but then but then I was like I was looking at the teeth from the old starter and they look different from the new starter and I was like oh I got to give this one last shot I was getting so frustrated okay so as you can see and let's let's just go ahead and put these right on top of each other that way we can get a real-time comparison here of each one of them so I'm gonna back that up a little bit back that up a little bit and I'm going to mute the edited audio and let's take a listen and I was like I was looking at the teeth from the old starter and they look different from the new starter and I was like oh I gotta get this one and let's hear the edit but then I was like I was looking at the teeth from the old starter and they look from the new starter oh, I gotta get this one last shot I was getting so frustrated I wanted to fly. I, I made the decision, like, no matter what, I can put together. I'm frustrated. I'm not going to go fly. Well, I took the old team from the old starter and put those on the new starter. Obviously, obviously, if you have ears, you can hear a pretty significant difference, a pretty significant reduction in the engine noise, albeit there is still some wind noise and like I said I'm still on the search for a better windscreen and I think that's gonna that's going to just continually improve uh, the quality of the audio in-flight audio so now I know you guys really want me to get to how did I do this okay so it's really really simple and I've come up with a few steps so taking you through these steps this is an unedited version of the same video. I just had it here so that I could get to it easily. And all you do is you right click on the audio, you come up here, edit clip in Adobe Audition. Never seen this before. Why did no one tell me about this? I have no idea, but it is amazing. And let's get to it. So render and replace, it's loading. Premiere is sending this file over to Adobe Audition. All right, I'm going to delete the previous session here. And for some reason, every time I do this, I open this, it says your system's audio hardware settings have changed. So I'm going to review them. And uh, Samson G Track Pro, I'm changing that. Okay. And I got to drag this over so it fits in my screen recording here that I'm doing for you guys okay so here is the audio track this is the full audio track that I just exported from Premiere Pro into Adobe Audition so the very first thing I'm gonna take you through these steps that I've I've got written down in front of me so I never forget them is 
and you'll have to do this with each um, audio track so if you have a GoPro audio file that's an hour long and it divides it up into however many minutes you're gonna have to do this process with each one but it's not that bad so the first thing that I do is I go to effects uh, filter and EQ and parametric equalizer I did a I set up a preset for myself called uh, motor out right so what you're gonna do is you're gonna when you first click on this all these are gonna be selected right here low one two three four and five and I deselect these and I only click on five and depending depending on your motor okay so you're gonna have to I would go and put 20 here and or I'm sorry 15 it's 15 and then you're gonna press play. the other story okay and then you're gonna slide this puppy around back and forth and find out what frequency gets rid or has the most of your motor okay so for example you slide this over here over here and I put it on 15 so you can hear it and then once you find the frequency where your motor is the most you will take this number and go minus 15 and that is going to delete that high frequency motor noise that's the first step all right so I'm gonna press and I saved it as a preset here motor out so I'm gonna apply that all right the next step is I'm gonna denoise okay so this is the most important part if you don't do anything else this is the most important part so what I want to do is zoom in on this audio track okay and what I'm trying to do is find a portion of the flying where I'm not talking and I only hear engine noise okay so let's find that here okay but then, but then all right, so what I'm going to do is grab a portion here. All right. Okay, so you see that. Now that is only engine noise, right? All right, so now easy way effects, noise reduction, capture noise print. So we press that button. The current audio selection will be captured and loaded as a noise print for use the next time. So that's why I said you only have to do this once if you grab a good portion of engine noise. All right. So I I grab that um, noise print. So then I go back to noise reduction. And here we go. Noise reduction process. So I, it pops up a window. And we can hear what it does. It's completely gone. But I will just share with you what I found is the most effective is 80 and fifteen, ten, and ten. Let's hear that. What I found is if right here reduce by if you try to do it too much it's going to really jack up the voice it's gonna sound kinda of weird and I still haven't quite figured these numbers out but as you can hear so before you press apply you wanna come back in here and deselect your selection and then you can listen but then, but then I was like I was looking at the teeth from and the watch and they look different from the new See, if you do it too much, it starts to have like this crystal sound to your voice. And I was like, oh, I gotta give this one last shot. I was getting so frustrated. I wanted to fly. I, I made the decision, like, no matter what, I get this thing put together. I'm frustrated. I'm not gonna go fly. Well, Even 20 ha has it. So 15. From the old starter and put those two teeth on the new starter. So I think that there. sounds pretty good. I start, I, I give it a little pull, I'm like, this ain't gonna work. All right, so I'm gonna press apply. And now, you can see all that noise went away 
and this these spikes are where I'm speaking okay now the next thing that I will do is I will go here to D clicker and heavy reduct actually a light reduction you can try heavy reduction I'm gonna press scan and I'm gonna press repair all all right next is effects amplitude and amplify and let's just select a little bit here so we can I was just like what and amplify I'm gonna put eight on the left and the right let's this hear it. makes no sense I was just like what okay so as you can see the denoise kind of lowered my voice level a little bit and I just want to bring it back up to an acceptable level and I think eight's good and it still keeps out the noise so or the engine noise so I'm gonna press deselect my selection and I'm gonna press apply and it brings back the engine noise this is the engine noise but it amplifies my voice I was just like what this makes no sense okay now the last step here the last step that I found is we're gonna go to effects and um, special okay effects special and mastering and we're gonna go in here to make room for vocals and I'm gonna set this to the exciter I'm gonna set this to 40 all right and we're gonna press I'll show you guys what it sounds like before and after I was just like what I was just like what I was just like what <laughs> and if I put a zero there I was just like what I was just like what I was all right so it just kind of accentuates the voice audio as you can see so 40 and deselect my selection apply all right so now the cool thing about this is to get this back into Premiere Pro all I've got to do is press file and save and then we go back to Premiere and there's my audio file edited it automatically loads into Premiere Pro. I think it's taken a second to peek the audio files because I'm not hearing it right now. Oh, duh, I've got it on mute. Put the whole new one on and when you pull it, the teeth do not engage the flywheel. All right, so I'm gonna delete this one and I'm gonna bring this over. This is the unedited and here's the edited. The other story is that yesterday was such a pain in the butt. All right, and here's the old. The other story is that yesterday was such a pain in the butt. Here's the new. The other story is that yesterday was such a pain in the butt. I wanted to fly last night, but I was. Oh. <laughs> I think you guys get it. Right. So, anyways, like I said at the beginning of this video, I, I hope that you guys get something out of this video. If you don't have. Premiere Pro and Adobe Audition. Maybe there's something in Final Cut. Maybe there's something in this, uh, I forget the other one that some other people are using nowadays to edit their video. Maybe there's something like this where you can go into the program and grab a certain part of the audio uh, print, capture that, grab that noise print and delete it. Um, I don't 
have this program down completely. I've just watched a few YouTube videos, but I think, like I said, this is the path. Like this is the way to get the best audio from paramotor vlogging and I just hope to fine tune it. If you guys have any tips for me, if you've used Adobe Audition and you know something I, I have not gotten here, please, please tell me. I don't know why, but it's just, it's fun to fly and while you're flying, talk because things come up on your mind while you're flying that would not come up on your mind if you're on the ground. It's kind of like a painting, you know? This is my painting. I'm flying and I'm talking and I'm painting. And if you enjoy this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment below, and I will see you guys in the air in the next video very soon. Peace.